the pet bottle sardines, Mike and the Mr. Use C. This is a story about a Mr. Star. Very mysterious creatures live in the wide, warm pink waters of this planet. This strangely shaped fish is a sardine. His name is Mike in the shape of a plastic bottle. Mike's house is an airplane graveyard and seems to be very comfortable to live in. One day, Mike is sleeping comfortably. I found it in a missile shaped shark. His name is Tick. In front of Mike who woke up, there was a seek with a wide open mouth. I had to run away quickly. Mike rushes away and hides in a rock. How do you escape? Looking around, I found a small tunnel. Mike sprints toward the tunnel. Mike went through a long tunnel. Oh, you can see the exit. When you go through the tunnel, you swim fluffy. Something is waving at the mic. He is a jellyfish in the shape of a plastic bag. The name is Low, live in a sunken ship. Mike soon became friends with the cheerful Low. Mike said he didn't know how to get home while desperately running away from Tick. Lo decided to find a house together. The two left the sunken ship. I heard a call for help as the two were swimming. Ask for help is a beach ball shaped porcupine fish. His name is Pulas. The two helped Pulas who was caught in a tree and cried. Mike and Lo joined forces to lift the tree and help Pulas. Soon became friends with Mike and Lo. Mike talked about running away after being chased by Tick. The knowledgeable Pulas knew the shortcut to get back to Mike's house. Pulas guides everyone. Now, the beginning of Mike's great adventure. With the Pula's guidance of knowledge, Mike and Lo head to the seaweed forest. A dark and scary seaweed forest, someone stares at Mike's. Scary creatures are approaching little by little. What appeared was a vacuum cleaner shaped octopus named is Sonic and his minions scanned shaped crabs. Sonic is a villain who subordinates creatures weaker than himself. Surrounded by Sonics and Grand Crabs, Mike's can't escape. The three have decided to fight Pulas screaming to Sonic. Mike is a beam of carbonic acid from his ass. Mike kicks off the canned crabs and gives Sonic a carbonated beam. Sonic was dying to escape from the two attacks. The canned crabs who became free after. The bad guy Sonic disappeared were very pleased. The canned crabs who became friends with Mike and others sent them to the exit of seaweed forest as a thank you. Mike said goodbye to the canned crabs and head for Mike's house. Mike and his friends are confident that they will drive away Sonic. It's almost time to arrive at Mike's house. It was when the Mikes took a break Mike was discovered by Tick. The tick opened its big mouth and chased tree at great speed.
What? The tick swallowed mics. Mics swept deep into the tick belly. The tick belly is full of garbage. They think of a strategy to escape from the chick belly. Law throws the fallen trust with all his might. Pulas hits the belly with a needle. Mike inflates a shark's belly with a carbonate beam. They rampage in the belly. The chick is suffering. Mike and others continued the rampage. They rampage in their valley and spit out irresistibly. Mike and others joined forces to escape from the thick belly. Mike's did it! That tick that spit out everything was refreshing. Tick was very grateful to Mike and his friends. The reconciled shark also went on a journey to find Mike's house. In this way, Mike and his friends, who came back to the airplane graveyard, decided to live together. The four friends that arrived at the airplane graveyard, in this way, decided to live together. Mike and his friends, tired from a big adventure, are sleeping together. I sleep comfortably. Mike and his friends live in harmony and forever in this mysterious sea. Forever and ever. The End